OK, since winter isn't done just yet and we will definitely have another cold snap, we're loading you up with comfort food recipes. You're welcome. Yeah. Do it for another people. <laughs> now we are joined by Dan Bravaro, founder of Bavaro's, and it looks like we are making an Italian favorite. Correct. Yeah, this is definitely Italian comfort food. Yes. And this is something like that means a lot to me from my childhood because when I was a little kid, we go to my grandmother's on a holiday or just a visit. And one of her favorite dishes to make us, the grandchildren, was eggplant parmigiana. Mm, so yum. it's just one of those dishes that you eat and it just brings you back in time and you just have these memories. So, it's, so it's we're going to share those memories with all of you at home. And correct. we get to do it right. two ways, I guess. Yeah, correct. So uh, we actually uh, serve this eggplant on our catering menu okay. and you can prepare it two ways. So if I was home with the family and we were going to cook dinner and we wanted to make this, I would prepare it the old school way like this. But if we're going to have guests and cocktail style, you could lay it out layered. This way it's easy to take and your guests could take a piece or two versus Perfect. You know, having it come from the uh, the tray. Okay, cool. Well, so give us a step by step let's method. Start. Yeah, so step by step. <laughs> obviously, you need eggplant, right? Yes. <laughs> One of the tricks or the key things that I feel is great to do is obviously peel it. Okay, because this way when you're eating it, you're not pulling skin. Oh, or, yeah, that's yeah, disgusting. No exactly. Okay. <laughs> so that's number one. Number two, if you're serving it layered, I'd say go a little bit thicker. This way it's a little bit more firm. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then grandma would always like to uh, slice the eggplant very thin when it's plated like this. Okay, so okay. that's more of a layered, almost like a lasagna style. Correct. Got it. Okay. Yes. And um, so what you do is once it's all sliced up, you put it in a, a pot full of cold water with some salt, put it in a refrigerator for about a half hour. This way it takes the bitterness out. Okay. Okay, so that's a little... New trick there. Exactly. And then very simple, we have uh, all-purpose flour, okay, some black pepper, granulated garlic, sea salt, Okay, so half a spoon, half a spoon, and uh, a teaspoon of that. Mix that into this, uh, the flour mix. Okay. Very simple. You would just kind of flour that up first. Oh, so you flour it before the egg. Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Flour it. Oh, rookie mistake. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> then soak through the egg. Okay. And obviously, and you would have a, a pan with some uh, corn oil, nice and hot. Do you double bread it, or do you, once you put in the egg, you go ahead and throw it in your no, pot? No, with this recipe, uh, it's only one time. Yeah, so like you said, I was definitely <laughs> thinking. I was like, okay, for an egg washing second, we're gonna go back in the flour. Yeah, it, it, it depends it. who you <laughs> talk to. There's <laughs> probably people out there right now that's saying, no, you're like, supposed no. to don't. <laughs> you gotta use breadcrumbs. You gotta do this. It's like this is the recipe that we grew up with. Okay, you cool. Know, so, so after that, you'd fry that, and what you'd have is here is your eggplant. Okay. Nicely fried, and then it would get layered. So obviously, very important ingredient. You want the best sauce you could possibly get. So we have Bavaro's at Whole Foods and Fresh Market. You can pick up a jar oh, of 24 ounce. Here. You guys get your Perfect. Sauce. So if you want, then you could just layer a couple. So good at layering. Okay, awesome. and so if people don't like fried eggplant, is there another option too? Um, do you have to fry the eggplant? Do you think that's best, or? Well, what do you I think? mean, flavor-wise, it's probably best, but also you could, you know, you could bake it. I mean, you could probably even grill it. You know, you could <laughs> get creative. It's not like it's fixed on this recipe alone. Yep. Um, it, you know, it's what you want to do with uh, as far as like your diet and stuff like that. Awesome. And then how many layers do you suggest if you're making it like lasagna style? See, if you travel in Italy and, you know, you eat at restaurants, it's different than in, in America. Mm -hmm. Less is more. So we That's like... It's not really I America. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you're going to go six layers of eggplant. So I, I'd say like, I'd say three or four. Okay. You know, it depends on how your slicing skills are. If you cut a little too thick, maybe less. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's all about the consistency when you eat. You know, you don't want it, one ingredient to be overpowering. It's about the balance. This is very true. All right. Thank you so much, Dan. Thank you for having me, Lauren. And thank you. We'll be right back after a quick break. Bells will ring, tingling, 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 and you'll sing the bell.